thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe below so we can expand our Squatch search with your help. Check out our new I Believe coffee mugs in description below. They are an excellent way to start your day. Report number 25265, Class Alpha. Year 2008. Location details 3 miles west of Flaming Gorge Dam in Utah. Nearest town, Vernal. Nearest road, Highway 44. Observed. While well, I was driving down the road late at night headed back to work in Vernal, Utah. I was driving over the Flaming Gorge Pass. I was somewhere between one to three miles before the dam turn off. When I was driving, I saw some eyeballs about six and a half to seven feet in the air. So I locked up my brakes, backed up to and faced my headlights at it, and I saw it. My first thought was a bear that was standing on its hind legs. But then I noticed it was not a bear. By that time, he turned around and slowly started walking away from me. It had very long, black, matted hair, and I know for a fact it wasn't a bear, by the way it walked. It scared me so bad, I got out of there, and I did not care to go back and look. So the next few times going back through, been watching every track to see if I could find them, but no luck. But I know one thing. He was not scared of me, nor my loud diesel motor. Also noticed, he was not scared by my truck. It slowly walked away. Other stories? No. Time and conditions? 10 p.m. Bright night. Environment? Snow pine forest. Follow-up investigation report by BFRO investigator Todd Strong. I interviewed the witness on the telephone. He was driving home to Vernal from Manila. He traveled this route several times a week. He first noticed the eyes reflecting in his headlights. When he first saw the animal, he thought it might be a black bear, so he stopped the pickup truck, backed up, and positioned the vehicle's headlights to shine on the animal. It was standing in the trees five feet off the road. The witness was surprised at how calm the animal stayed, even with a noisy diesel, stopping and backing up. He was impressed with how much ground the animal could cover as he watched it turn and take ten steps before disappearing into the trees. He saw that it had long, black, and gray hair that was very matted and wet from the snow. No details of the face were seen. The witness was believable and familiar with the area. He has lived in the area his whole life and has hunted and fished a great deal, very familiar with the outdoors. This was his first sighting, but several members of his family were loggers in the Uintas, which border Flaming Gorge, and always told of seeing and hearing. 60877 Class B submitted by witness on Thursday, August 23, 2018. Mother and daughter have a scary daytime encounter while hiking on North Twin Cone. Year 2018. Season, summer. Month, August. Date, 23rd. State, Colorado. County, Park County. Location details, the road on the east side of Kenosha Pass Campground that takes you up to the Twin Cones. The rock throwing and tree knocking occurred off the road about 15 minutes from the top. It was at the campsite on the right side. Nearest town, Jefferson, Colorado. Nearest road, 285. Observed. Oh my God is all that we can say. It is Thursday, August 23, 2018, and we are just getting to our vehicle from a harrowing hike. We were hiking the road at Kenosha Pass on the east side that takes you to the Twin Cones above the tree line. We began our hike at noon and hiked up the road. We reached the Twin Cone Tree Line area at 3.30 p.m. It was a beautiful and uneventful hike 
until we were headed back down the road. My daughter had said she thought that she had heard a tree knock, and I was being silly and took a rock and knocked on a large rock off of the road and then tossed the rock about five feet off of the road. Literally two minutes later, we both heard multiple loud tree knocking and rocks were whizzing past our heads. The stench was unbearable like nothing I have ever smelled before. My 21-year-old daughter began to scream and cry as we were under attack by someone or something. I was so startled that I just stood there frozen as this dark figure was staring back at me. I couldn't move. My daughter grabbed my arm and we took off. I had an air horn that I depressed three times as we were running away and that seemed to de to deter the rock throwing. The rock throwing continued for five more minutes as we ran down the hill. We were almost to our vehicle which was parked off the dirt road when we heard a loud guttural whoop off the road and a bit and we just kept running to the car so very very afraid. We made it back to our vehicle at 6.15 p.m. I will never return and we are not okay with this. This needs to be investigated, please. Also notice the horrible stench that we smelled just before the rock throwing attack. The only thing that seemed to end the rock throwing was that I had an air horn that I blew three times as we were trying to escape the attack. Other witnesses, myself and my 21 year old daughter, we were walking down the road. Other stories, no. Time and conditions, 4.45 p.m. Environment, heavily forested pine aspen trees. I spoke with both witnesses via phone and email immediately after the sighting report was submitted. Both witnesses seemed very credible and genuine and were able to describe the encounter in great detail. Both witnesses were clearly upset by the encounter and expressed their desire to never visit the location again. I visited the site of the encounter myself on the following Monday. The activity took place just below a tree line at approximately 11,000 feet of ele elevation. I did observe what appeared to be a partial footprint and discovered a possible hiding sleeping area as well, which had a very distinct odor. The odor was notable, but not as intense as described by the witnesses during their encounter. The mother provided slightly more detail with regards to her observation of the actual creature. She emphasized her strong feeling that the creature was hostile and that she felt it might charge at her and her daughter. The daughter purposely did not look at the creature due to the sheer terror she felt at the time. The mother felt that deploying the air horn gave them the opportunity to leave the scene without further further interaction with the figure she observed. Since rocks were being thrown from another direction at the time of the sighting, it would seem clear that there were multiple creatures. The witnesses were clear that they were followed several miles down the mountain back to their car and at that point they were further startled by a loud roar scream from the tree line. Although they felt that they were under attack, they were not hit by any rocks. We have received many reports of rock throwing, which is most likely an intimidation behavior where they wish for you to leave. If they wanted to hit their mark a human, they would be able to if that is what they were aiming for without much effort.